Hello everybody and welcome back to another video today. It's the week 8 update the final update for season 5 uh, Next week is the launch of season 6 with the haunting event for season 6 uh, Can't wait um, For to play the haunting. Um, I will be live streaming that make a video on the battle pass as well so um uh so yes um as you can tell week up week eight just went update just went live um you got the jack devastators um it is the dual wielding shotguns um uh, for the reclaimer 18 and we got our challenges right here very nice um so let's jump right into the challenges and we can go take a look at it in the firing range so let's start with multiplayer multiplayer challenges get 20 operator kimbo kills uh, next we have get 10 operator headshot kills using pistols for SMGs get 5 kills against operators who are blinded or stunned with SMGs get 2 operator clean kills in one life two times so that's probably should be the easiest one uh, get 10 operator kills after reloading with assault rifles that's an easy one for sure get 15 operator kills while aiming down sights with a shotgun next the last challenge for multiplayer we have get eight operator clean kills with marksman rifles or sniper rifles so you can do a marksman rifle or sniper rifle on whatever you have so unlock um moving on to zombies um for the jack devastators you have get 150 Kimbo kills. Next, we have get 250 critical kills with a pistol. Next, we have get 50 mercenary kills with a SMG. So, this will be easy to do. Uh, just go around the map, find mercenaries, kill them, kill 50 mercenaries around the map, and with an SMG. So, easy. Uh, get 10 kills without being hit 30 times so that one's an easy one for sure uh, get 100 kills after reloading with assault rifles that one's easy get 200 kills while aiming down sides with a shotgun so that's nice um, this one get 10 zombie kills without taking damage 20 times with a marksman rifle or sniper rifle so that one's easy all you gotta do is stay back or go forward and you can you know you can uh, get 10 kills pretty easy and fast and so all these challenges are really easy um, after reloading with an assault rifle that one's easy all of these are really easy so very nice um now we're moving on to the battle royale warzone slash resurgence challenges um so the four of one we loot um uh loot 20 loot caches around the map of urzik stance so that one's easy um in Warzone, place in top 10 three times, easy. Complete 10 contracts, easy. If you're doing it with the squad, you can get that done in no time. You get five operator kills or kill assists. That one's easy for sure. So yeah, that is all the challenges for Battle Royale, Zombies, and Multiplayer for the Jax Devastator. So let's go ahead and jump into the firing range with these and let's test them out all right we are in the firing range with these dual wielding reclaimer pistols um they they look pretty cool 
Um, if you guys want to see a testing video of this, go check out Lego Unlocked because I know he does these testing videos um, with aftermarket parts, see if they do good in previous zombies, multiplayer warzone, you know, see if they work for high level zombies. So if you guys want to see that, go check out Lego Unlocked. Um, he does a lot of these, but yeah, these are the the Jack Devastators. Um, so very nice. Um, so this is uh, so. Let's see, can you, do you shoot both? So you look. So you shoot both by any of the triggers. So these do count. Um. So. I think these do count as akimbo kills because these are akimbo shotguns. Um, so hopefully if you guys want to skip the akimbo kills challenge for zombies and do all the rest and then when you unlock this you can probably test it out see if it works. Um, I'm probably going to do the akimbo kills just straight on to get that done with because it's so much easier. Just give the Renetti or any of the handguns to um, get the jack depth stators so yeah I mean they look pretty good I mean they sound pretty good um, so yeah um, so yeah that those are the jack devastators now let's go back into the main menu alright so now we're back in the main menu on the main menu where you see all the what's hot uh, so if you go over to the battle pass we have six days until the haunting starts so if you guys haven't finished that battle pass yet make sure you go do that um, grind that out really fast best as you can try to get most of it done so you can get Michael Myers fire uh, in the new battle pass so yeah um, uh, also in the event tab you got the emotional overdrive um, that will be coming out tomorrow so if you guys want to see some gameplay on that live I'm gonna be doing that live tomorrow on twitch at 10:30, 11 o'clock or during the afternoon when I play with my buddy that I always play with so yes um, in the store uh, update, um, we got the Horseman bundle. Um, this one came out yesterday or two days ago. I think it came out yesterday. I'm a little bit late on this. Um, we got do got another duck, um, another swan duck swan bundle that came out. Um, the wildlife wanted swan song tracer pack so very nice um so yeah just uh, before i close out out of the before you guys leave out of the video and close it um just let you know um if you guys want to see more videos just like this weekly updates for black ops 6 let's reach 50 views or higher if you guys want more videos like this um, I know ink slasher done videos like this weekly updates every Wednesday um, I don't know if he still does them or not but um, if he doesn't you guys can come to me and I do your weekly updates on Wednesday um, I will be going live later tonight on twitch or YouTube so if you guys follow me on twitch at GG Star Wars go ahead and follow me there I'll be going live um, if you guys follow me on this channel on YouTube um, at JG Star Wars go ahead and follow weekly updates every Wednesday um, we will go live when a new season hits and for aftermarket parts we will go live on Twitch to try to unlock them live so yes uh, thank you guys for so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out everybody